You might have already heard this a time or two, but sometimes Hollywood ignores science for spectacle, and Jurassic World is no different. Scientists just can't decide on whether that's a bad thing or not. Corporate felt genetic modification would up the wow factor. They're dinosaurs, wow enough. Since the trailer dropped, there have been all sorts of think pieces on the inaccuracies in the movie. See that giant fish monster? That's called a Mosasaurus. However, scientists have written it shouldn't be that big. It shouldn't have that frill on its back, and it's not technically considered a dinosaur since it doesn't live on land. Those teeth, though, those are real. Also, scientists say the velociraptors are scaled up as well. Those should only weigh about 75 pounds and be about the size of a medium-sized dog. And another thing, paleontologist Kenneth Lacovara tells GQ, dinosaur brains are likely too simple to be trained the way Chris Pratt trains them in the movie. So I would not try the, uh, the Chris Pratt move there, the dinosaur whisperer thing. is probably a really good way to get yourself eaten. Probably not a good idea. The inaccuracy that seems to be drawing the most frustration, though, is the lack of feathers. Since the discovery that birds are the descendants of dinosaurs, the scientific community agrees that the vast majority of dinosaurs had some kind of feathers somewhere on their bodies. We can forgive 1993's Jurassic Park, though. This theory didn't pop up until after that movie was made. A paleontologist writing for CNN is pretty irked by this detail, calling it a huge leap backwards and a bitter disappointment. Jack Horner, the paleontologist that consulted with the film's producers, tried to explain the lack of feathers are about preserving the franchise's continuity. The thing about the Jurassic Park movies is they're one story. With new discoveries, we just we sort of have to shelf the new ideas if it conflicts with the way they look. Regardless, not all scientists are upset by the errors. A pair of paleontologists told the Washington Post that the movies made dinosaurs much more popular and put a lot more interest in that area of science. Matthew Mossbrucker, director of the Morrison Natural History Museum, told the Post, It's true that from what I've seen, the dinosaurs in Jurassic World are not the most accurate. But these are opportunities to have people ask great questions and to educate them, not excuses to throw popcorn at the screen. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant. Thank <music> you.